how the folks you're watching deuce can you have a firefight and hide behind a dresser is it safe to be shot at when you're behind a dresser i have no idea especially this one this one's way too small but over here i have a much larger dresser over here and i can hide behind this one if i needed to but would it protect me an empty dresser is not going to cut it so i have a bunch of old clothes that i'm going to stuff in here to simulate a full dresser. Today's human analog is brought to you by water and old milk jugs. Notice the one from Costco here. I brought this home once and my wife was like, nope, nope, it looks too weird. Not gonna do it. <laughs> and just so everyone's aware, this dresser was bought by my parents in the 70s. It's just particle board. And now, 50 years later, it is starting to smell, the glues are starting to break down, and it's starting to get all weird. So uh, it is not fit for, for use in a modern house, nor is it good for any kind of donation purposes. The plan today is to start off with a normal 22. Well, this is not a normal 22, but trust me, it shoots 22 long rifle just like any other 22. After the 22, we're gonna step it up to nine millimeter. After that, double up buckshot. And lastly, 762 by 39 out of an AK-47. I really hope we don't need anything stronger than this because this is all I brought. <laughs> I'm gonna kneel down here so I get a nice line of sight through that first drawer on top. All right, here we go. Clean hit. Clean hit. So let's take a look and see what happened. Got a nice clean hit right there. Let's open her up. I really, really put some. <laughs> all right, well, there's all the particle board. It didn't make a mess inside. Did we capture that bullet? Oh, there's the bullet right there. <laughs> that first t-shirt, that rolled up first t-shirt took care of that, huh? And for extra information, the 22 is an arms core, just normal 36 grain hollow point, high velocity, of course it's not high velocity out of a pistol length barrel. Next up, a nine millimeter pistol. This happens to be a Taurus G2C that I've been testing lately. Let's see how she runs. I still didn't see any splash. Where is my splash? Right next to the 22 hole is a nine millimeter hole. Let's take a look here. Come on. I've got this thing overstuffed. I'll hit jeans this time around. Okay, so not in, not in there. Check that out, it went right at the nuts. <laughs> Cheapest vasectomy ever. Oh, oh, here, there we go. Found it. Found it right there. Oh, and it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. There she is right there. It is a full metal jacket, nine millimeter. And here's the technical data right there. It's a Fiocchi nine millimeter, 115 grain, 1200 feet per second. I got a whole bunch of these because I ran out of my reloads. But yeah, here we go. That made it about halfway through the drawer. Now I'm going back and forth on which one to shoot next. So I'm just going to go with the AK-47, 762 by 39. Of course, they're standard wolf ammo. And here we go. <laughs> I did miss the close. Well, crap. Okay. <laughs> Take two. And that's why I have extra jugs. I'm not sure how safe I'd feel back here. <laughs> All righty, Deuce, aim a little bit higher this time around. There we go. <laughs> now, that was dead nuts center in the drawer, so that should not have had any issues with missing the clothes. Look at that, dead nuts center. There we go. Nice clean hole right through the drawer there. Went through all the clothes. <laughs> uh, that's your problem right there. And it took out Mr. Costco. Took out two of them. Well, no, it just knocked this one out over. All right. And now, double up buck. <laughs> took out the knob. <laughs> Did it take out anything else? All right, that is definitely dead nut center. But... There's nothing back here. Come on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> there's the knob. <laughs> All right, there is one pellet, two pellets, three pellets. Ha ha ha. Oh, look how he hit the bottom here and scraped across. Here's the buckshot I just shot here, the Noble Sport buckshot. It's a nine pellet double lot buck. What is it, uh, 1290 feet per second? It is so nice when they actually put the info on the shell instead of going hunting through the internet. But it took out the knob. Here's a plastic shotgun wad that embedded itself onto the back of that knob there. <laughs> and one, two, three, four. So I found six of the nine double lot buck pellets. There's a bunch of like lead debris inside that drawer, so I guess the other three just disintegrated. If you'd like to see more testing with this particular dresser, you are basically SOL because it has joined that great furniture store in the sky. Now you can see from my prep there with all that water that I was expecting for pretty much everything but the 22 to go through and maybe even multiple, multiple gallons being lost with each shoot because of ricochets or whatnot. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen at all. I'm very surprised that the nine millimeter nor the buckshot, the pretty potent buckshot that I shot at it, didn't even come close to getting through there, which is amazing. I had no idea, had no idea. So if you are hiding behind a dresser that is chopped full, packed full of clothes, then yeah, you are fairly protected as long as it doesn't go between the drawers. If it hits the drawer solid straight on, you are pretty protected from a pistol caliber round. A rifle round, not so much. The 7.62 by 39, that was a standard wolf, wolf grade, you know, 123 grain bullet going standard velocities, whatever it is, 2300, whatever. So a rifle round, I'm gonna assume that a 223 would also go through that just the same as the 7.62 did. And of course, anything bigger than that, a 308, 30 out six, you know, so if you're getting accosted by someone with an M1 Garand, you're probably toast as well. And I would not try to hide behind a dresser unless you're just looking for general concealment, but don't count on it for its bulletproofiness. It just won't happen. Well, guys, there for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go subscribe. A lot more is on the way. If you have any comments, questions, show what did, leave that in the comment box of the video. I'll try to answer as many of as possible. And as always, you guys have a great day. See ya.